Airport, the year's most widely read novel, becomes today's most exciting, most timely motion picture. Airport, big scale in every way, has the biggest all-star cast ever assembled for a single universal motion picture. Burt Lancaster, Dean Martin, Gene Seberg, Jacqueline Bissett, George Kennedy, Helen Hayes, Van Heflin, Maureen Stapleton, Barry Nelson, Lloyd Nolan, Donna Winter. The pilot from your flight 45 made a shortcut across the field. And he didn't make it. Well, what are you doing about it? Well, when the snow melts in April, we'll get it out. What the hell do you think I'm doing about it? Outselling any novel of recent years, translated into 14 languages, Arthur Haley's Airport was written for the screen and directed by Academy Award winner George Seaton. It has seven stories tied into one. Dean Martin is pilot Vernon Demarest, loved by stewardess Jacqueline Bissett and by his wife, Barbara Hale. You're sure? Do you mean am I sure I'm pregnant? Or am I sure you're the father? Bert Lancaster is airport manager Mel Bakersfeld at the crisis stage with his socialite wife, Donna Winter. A week ago, I didn't know we'd have the worst storm in six years. You've always got some damn excuse. Gene Seberg is Tanya, his devoted assistant. I'll miss you. Will you? Enough not to let me go? The first lady of the American stage, Helen Hayes, plays the mind-boggling, huggable, perpetual stowaway, Ada Quonset. Oh, my dear, I couldn't possibly afford a ticket. Van Heflin gives a superb performance as the desperate Guerrero, matched by Maureen Stapleton as his wife. Stop dreaming. Just hold on to the job. I'll do it right this time. I won't mess it up. And lusty, gutsy Petroni has to be Academy Award winner George Kennedy. I'll have this mother out of here by midnight. Is there any chance that the, that the plane would stand the explosion? Oh, she might still fly. But the sudden decompression at 30,000 feet is something you got to see to believe. Now sit down and be quiet. Oh, you hurt me. You hurt me. Stop it. You're hysterical. Oh, it's still me. Please, help me! Help me! No! 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 Personal property, you've got no right to kill me! There! Stop! Stop! No! No! You stay where you are! Guerrero, listen to me. You'll kill yourself for nothing if you explode that bomb. For crisis authenticity, airport has no equal. For mounting tension, airport has no equal. Decompression, making emergency descent. For sheer fingernail-biting suspense, airport has no equal. You are leaving my area. Contact Cleveland Center, 117.5. Good luck. Airport. We're going to crash. We're going to be killed. I know we're all going to be... Global Airways, Flight 502, nonstop, Oakland to Minneapolis. On the flight deck, Captain Hank O'Hara. He's flown 10 million miles without a hitch. Here we go. You're up. A routine flight to a routine city. The kind of flight O'Hara's run a thousand times. The kind of flight anyone might take. But this time, there's going to be an unscheduled stop. Get on the horn to the FBI. Looks like 502's got a hijacker on board. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Please, take your seats. Don't forget I've got passengers aboard this aircraft. Oh, don't worry, Captain. There won't be any shootouts. Captain, this passenger would like to talk to you. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, oh, Please keep calm. We're intruding into Soviet airspace. They're liable to shoot us down and get the answers later. I'm diverting to a free world strip. Hank, we're there. Tell Anchorage to prepare for a zero-zero landing. Yeah, if a mountain doesn't smack us first. What the hell is that? Our radio's out, sir. 
Grundig, find out what that traffic is. Tell them to get the hell out of there. Unidentified aircraft. Break off your approach. You are on a collision course. Captain O'Hara. We've got unidentified traffic moving into your glide slope. They do not respond to our calls. See that they've lost their seatbelts. How is she? Contractions are a minute and a half apart. Horizontal and vertical separations almost gone, Captain. Above me or below me? I don't know. He's too close. Mayday, Hank. Mayday. This is the story of a routine domestic flight that turns into an international nightmare. Charlton Heston, Yvette Mimieu, Walter Pidgeon, James Brolin, Roosevelt Greer, Leslie Uggams, Gene Crane. All right, you heroes, come and get it. Characters in a deadly drama at 38,000 feet as one of our planes is skyjacked. Ramsey wants me to hire the best person available to head up the counterterrorism unit. That person happens to be you. I don't want that responsibility. You get off the sidelines, you gotta get back into this game. They finally captured the world's most dangerous hijacker. Now, they're bringing him back for trial on a plane. Notify my people. They'll know what to do. That was their first mistake. <laughs> Once again, Charles Rain is in control. And how do you like your sirloin, sir? Bloody. But there's just one thing he didn't count on. 55, 56, 57. Passenger 57. I watch your show all the time. My show? Never miss it. Woo, woo, woo. Who's in charge? I am. Once again, who's in charge? You are Wesley Snipes. No, 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 this is not happening. You, back to your seat. Oh, I'm free! His name's John Carter. He's airline security. <laughs> Tell me you're good at this. I'm the best. Plan not working out the way you want it? Don't flatter yourself, Carter. One way or the other, we're going down. No, just chill out. I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Your father ever teach you never send a boy to do a man's job. Wesley Snipes. You need help? No. He's all mine. Passenger 57. You ever play roulette? On occasion. Let me give you a word of advice. Always bet on black. at 20,000 feet from the Great Plains all the way to Boston. From the best-selling novel by Stephen King. Where is everybody? They've gone. They've all gone. Is the plane in trouble, mister? Where is everybody? What's going on here? Across the boundaries of time. Mayday. Mayday. This is American Pride. Flight 29. Requesting emergency aid. <laughs> place is utterly, totally deserted. Air Force Control, this is American Pride, Flight 29. Do you read me, over? Beyond the gateway to another world. We're no longer in our own time, ladies and gentlemen. It's really wrong here. You're all dead. Something is waiting for you to arrive. It's coming, don't you understand? Something's coming towards us, rather nasty. They are predators. They are chew the eyes right out of your head. They are relentless. The Magdaleers are coming. 
They're coming for you. And they are very, very hungry. They will eat you alive! Alive and free! Excuse me, sir. May I help you? Sir? In an age... Excuse me, sir. May I help you? When terrorism knows no boundaries... <laughs> and the level of threat... I have a message for the American president. ...knows no limits. I am in control of Flight 343. Well, sir, I don't think this is about hostages. What are you talking about? A shipment of the nerve toxin DZ-5 was hijacked. Are you saying nerve gas is on board? Yes, sir, him. <laughs> They plan to use the DZ-5 and the airplane together to detonate here, over Washington. When global response is routine... London is demanding immediate action. There's a hatch on the belly of the 747 near the nose. We could dock there. I know you wrote the book on assaulting hijacked aircraft, but this is five miles above the Earth. I don't think we have any other options. And advanced technology... Who's this? 007? ...can accomplish miracles. What are you doing up here? Who the hell else is going to do it? You? We're opening the outer hatch. A life or death decision. I hope there's a good movie on this flight. For 400 hostages in a plane. Keep it going. Or 40 million civilians on the ground. You can forget Washington. There's enough nerve agent here to wipe out half the eastern seaboard. We'll come down to a choice between the unthinkable. The Pentagon is going to shoot us down. And the impossible. I'll reach our airspace in 85 minutes. The hatch has got to be closed down. We'll lose both planes. We'll order the F-14s to intercept the 747. Kurt Russell. I'm losing control of the airplane. Halle Berry, John Leguizamo, and Steven Seagal. We're not going to make it. You are. Warner Brothers invites you. We're not really going to shoot this plane down, are we? It's too late. They've already crossed the line. To fasten your seatbelts. This is directly from the president himself. Everybody down! Now you have your orders. Execute them. Executive decision. Hello and welcome aboard. Whenever we fly, wherever we fly, we at Transcontinental take time to ensure your safety. Your seat belt should be worn low and tight across your lap. If you didn't put your carry-on luggage in the overhead compartment, then be sure to place it under the seat in front of you. For those of you afraid of flying, prepare to be terrified. For those of you who aren't afraid, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> We've lost all communications with Transcon 47. This plane on the ground. This plane is not gonna land. You should be close to exceeding the structural limits of the airframe. We just got a fire. He's crazy. Yeah. Do not open the door. Miss, let's delay our flight. What's FAA procedure in a situation like this? I don't think there's ever been a situation like this. I'm 35,000 feet in the air and I'm smarter than you. Who is actually flying the aircraft? <laughs> He's a U.S. Ranger, highly decorated, did a little hell raising when he was a kid, but nothing serious. He's defending his wife, 
got in a drunken brawl. And he killed a guy. Could have happened to you or me. After serving the last of his sentence, Cameron Poe is taking the first plane home to his wife and daughter. Today's flight is a special one. We're populating Louisiana's Felton Penitentiary. These guys are the worst of the worst. I see a lot of celebrities among us. I see 11 primetime lives, three Regents and Kathy Lee's, and a genuine 2020 interviewee. What you looking at, punk? Nothing, I was just lying on your cage. But one wrong flight. Stewardess, what's the end flight movie today? <laughs> can ruin your whole day. What happened? We got the plane, man! Welcome to Con Air. Jailbird 1, you are not cleared for takeoff. And nobody on this aircraft gives a flyer. The issue here is how the plane is brought down. Shoot it down. There are innocent people up there. He's got a little girl to come home to. He's been waiting for this day for eight years. Die. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm gonna save the day. This summer, check your weapons. Take your seat. Isn't that your car? And say your prayers. He's got the whole world in his hand. From Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer of The Rock. Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, John Malkovich. Where are they gonna land this thing? How do you feel about the blackjack tables? On June 6th. Woo! <laughs> Buckle up. On air. Directed by Simon West. Thank you, and have a pleasant flight. Tonight I come to you with a pledge to change America's policy. Atrocity and terror are not political weapons, and to those who would use them, your day is over. They hated your speech, didn't they? They're afraid we won't have the guts to back it up. Air Force One, clear for takeoff. Thank you for your hospitality, Moscow. Oh, where's the the oh, 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 oh. The President's plane, Air Force One, has been hijacked. I will execute the hostage every half an hour. What are our airborne scenarios? Scenarios. How the hell did this happen? How the hell did they get Air Force One? Let's not forget this president is a Medal of Honor winner. He knows how to fight. My husband will not negotiate. His wife, his daughter. I think he'll negotiate. You know who I am? I'm the president of the United States. miles west of our course. It's a big desert, isn't it? The zone's coming for us, though, right? What kind of odds do you give us? No radio, very little water. If we try to walk out of here, we're gonna last about two days. I suppose there'd be a Four Seasons hotel out here, would it? I can get us out of here. What do you know about airplanes? I designed them. What the hell is he talking about? He's talking about building a new airplane. Out of the old one. For 10 survivors, choosing to do the impossible is the only choice they've got. If a man can't have faith in something, what else does he have? 
We're either all in this together or no one at all. I'm in charge and I don't need to ask anyone anything. I'm not taking orders from you. What are they waiting for? They're waiting till we're too weak to fight back. Ah! Do not tell them what a plane is. Ah! We gotta get out of here. Come on, give me some help! And you got uh... ten minutes. Flight one zero one nine has been delayed. So are you on this very delayed flight to Miami? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You? Sadly, yes. Mm -hmm. Hi. Is this taken? No, it's all yours. So are you headed home? Yeah. Trying. That's actually my seat. You're kidding. You're not kidding. The name's Jackson. Lisa, so what do you do? As fate would have it, my business is all about you. I'm not sure where you're going with this. J.R. Joe Reisert. Your father? Where did you get that? Grabbed it off your dad's desk next to your graduation picture. You tell the flight attendant and your dad dies. What can I do for you? She's just had a really rough day. A death in the family. Why are you doing this? Somebody wants to send a big brash message. I have to go to the restroom. Okay. I trust you. A man went in there, but a lady's in there too. Do dad a favor <laughs> and stop gambling with his life. Excuse me, this isn't a motel. This summer... <laughs> from director Wes Craven... Rachel McAdams, Killian Murphy, Red Eye. Mommy, did you make that plane? Yeah, it's brand new. It's got two stories. There's seven galleys, it's a crew quarters. It's the biggest. There are 26. Yeah, there we go. When you wake up, we'll be in New York. Daddy, too? Yeah. Daddy, too. Did you happen to see a little girl go by here? No. I haven't my daughter. No, she's six, my daughter. I was, uh, I was carrying her. She board. has uh, sandy oh, hair. probably carrying a chenille bear. We can't find my daughter. Does anybody remember seeing the girl? No. No, sir. What aren't you telling me? What aren't you telling me? I'm sorry, but I don't think that she's here. What? Ma'am, we don't have any record of your daughter ever having been on board. I put her in the seat next to me, 26A. 26A is unoccupied. Her backpack's missing. Somebody has her. Captain, I have to speak to you! Get every passenger seated. Open every closet, every bin. She's disturbed. She's making the passengers anxious. You've got to search the holes now! Every one of my flight attendants are looking for a child that none of them believe was ever on board. Who's she talking to? We're not going to discuss this in the middle of the case. Where's my daughter? Where is she? Discuss. Where is she? Dead. According to the director at the morgue, the daughter died six days ago. What? Uh, Air Marshal is going to escort you back to your seat. You know she's alive. You know she's on this plane. Why didn't anybody see her? I don't know. <sighs> My 
daughter is alive. What you gonna do to the light? Oh, yeah! You're gonna be arrested when we land. <laughs> Anticipated movie of the year has become a cultural phenomenon with countless websites, videos, and articles dedicated to it. That's what I'm talking about. On August 18th, nothing can prepare you for when fright <laughs> takes flight. Everybody buckle up now! Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> snakes on a plane. Rated R. Be the first to see snakes this Thursday at 10 p.m. at selected theaters. Starts August 18th. You know all those security scenarios we ran? I'm smack in the middle of one we didn't think of. Everything you've heard. Did you guys hear that? Everything you've seen. Why are there snakes on this plane? Everything you've read. Eddie Kelly managed to fill the plane with poisonous snakes. Oh. Is true. Do you like roller coaster rides? Snakes on a plane. You, you okay? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Rated R, now playing. Welcome aboard, Agent Flynn. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your flight. On August 18th. You know all those security scenarios we ran? I'm smack in the middle of one we didn't think of. Everybody buckle up now! Sit back, <laughs> relax, oh my God. and enjoy <laughs> the fright. <laughs> Snakes on a plane. Do as I say, and you live. Rated R. Starts August 18th. These snakes on this plane. I'm ready for it. Come on, bring it. Snakes on the brush. I suggest you grab your ankles and kiss your ass goodbye. We did it hard. We'd like to welcome you aboard flight 121. Enjoy your flight. Welcome aboard, Agent Flynn. At 30,000 feet. Did you guys hear that? When terror strikes. Oh my God. One man will strike back. Everybody move forward. Samuel L. Jackson. That's my job to handle life and death situations. And I'm very good at it. Snakes on a plane. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. This film is not yet rated. Starts August 18th. Good morning, Trina. Good morning, Captain Whitaker. Here's a manifest with 102 souls on board. Let's get them tucked in. We're ready to push. How you feeling, Whip? Looked like you pulled some kind of move up there, man. You saved a lot of lives. We are in a dive. I have no control on my side. We going there? Everybody in brace positions. The way you landed that plane was nothing short of a miracle. I see nothing but houses! Evan, listen to me. Trim us nose down. The plane fell apart at 30,000 feet. <laughs> We're gonna roll it. What, what do you mean, roll it? Ready? Here we go. I'm on the list, baby girl. There is all kinds of crazy news people out here. You're a rock star, man. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. Captain Whitaker is a real American hero. This is Hugh Lang. He's an attorney from Chicago. Why do we need a lawyer? You don't remember having your blood drawn the night of the crash? You had alcohol in your system. That could be life in prison. The NTSB hearings in 10 days. Captain Whitaker! the microscope right now. Are you hiding There's something? You gonna shoot me? Can I come inside? Yeah, come on inside. I'll shoot you inside. This was an act of God. Those God would do this. Our investigators concluded the aircraft failed. The FAA placed 10 pilots in simulators, recreated the events. Every pilot killed everybody on board. You were the only one who could do it. 
He saved my mom. I want to talk about the days leading up to the accident. This thing is so heavy, it's killed me. I drank the night before the flight. Does Whitaker know he's going to jail? My clients don't go to jail. It's a lie, Whit. It's a lie. I'm trying to save your life. What? Life. We lost our power! Brace for impact. No one could have landed that plane like I did. is threatening to kill someone every 20 minutes unless 150 million dollars is transferred to this account number we're midway across the atlantic how do you kill someone in a crowded plane and get away with it ladies and gentlemen we need every passenger to raise their hands above their head this is a bad idea we have a right to know what the hell is going on. Agent Marks, the account number you gave us is in your name. What? That doesn't make any sense. This is a setup. Something else is going on. The FBI, the White House, and Interpol are confirming reports that an international flight has been hijacked by an air marshal. Major Marks, our fighter escort has you in their sight. Do you hear me? We're running out of time. Do you hear me? I'm not hijacking this plane. I'm trying to save it. seem to know each other. We have a boy at home. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you ready for boarding, guys? Uh, we were born ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain. I'd like to wish you a nice day and thank you for your trust in us. So, guys. Ah! We have a 7500. Open the door! Several men attacked our cockpit. We stopped them from now. The captain is injured. Status of the crew, I don't know. They have a hostage. They're gonna kill him if I don't open the door. And what other guy to die? Don't stop, please. I can't open the door. Let her go. Please. Please, I beg. Please. They don't have guns. They don't have knives. If you work together, you can beat them. It's okay, you're gonna be alright. European 162, what's the status? 